welcome back to the channel guys. What are we doing today? Been a while, I know, because I've been sunning myself in Florida. Um, we're fitting a NASA battery monitor to a narrow boat called September Rain. Lovely boat. Customer's a bit questionable. I think I got away with that. Um, yeah, so battery monitor from a NASA BM2. Uh, so it monitors the starter battery, leisure batteries, domestic batteries and also measures current in, current out, state of charge, all that sort of stuff. So really nice unit. And we're going to get those sorted out. Should be a straightforward install, but every time I say that, it all goes pear shaped, but uh, we, we, hopefully it won't. So there we go. Let's get on with this. So here's the shunt. It's made up of a few parts actually. Let's go through that shunt. Uh, wiring harness. The display. There's also a cover there for uh, protection when you're not using it. Um, Bit of an O-ring for the back of there. Um, uh, connection block, a useless negative strap. So we're gonna bin that. Uh, and a little chalky block, and we're probably gonna bin that as well. But right, yes, yeah, so this, this shunt here, it looks like I'll be able to fit it just here above the isolator, which is nice and handy. Um, so basically all the negatives, charging and loads need to come through this shunt. And I'm quite lucky on this boat actually, so there's a few a few cables I've got to take onto here. So this one uh, is obviously load, that looks like inverter. Uh, this one is probably out to the 12 volt circuit. But also, and what a lot of people forget about, is this link here to the starter battery. So this, this your charging current from the alternator will come through this negative here. So I've got to take that off and also put that onto the shunt as well. So three negatives, so not too bad, no bus bar required on this one. Uh, three negatives on there, then one larger size negative onto the leisure bank, and also one onto here. So not too bad really, hopefully. Not sure these guys are giving me a message, but um, what's all this about? <laughs> right, uh, quite a simple schematic really. I always refer to it just in case anything's changed, which it hasn't, I've fitted a few of these. So here's the shunt, uh, there's the black and white onto the one side uh, and then there's the uh, the yellow onto the other, so that's quite simple. So that's measuring, that's measuring the volt drop between these two points and if it measures the volt drop it can calculate the current actually flowing and the polarity of these two will determine on which way the current is flowing as well. So uh, quite clever really, simple but clever. This is the one that goes up onto the starter battery, so it monitors the starter battery voltage. So that's one straightforward enough, and there's also a little fuse in there as well, comes all, all in. Uh, right, so yes, I'm gonna mount that here because there's a little spot for it. I think I might actually put a slightly longer screw in there actually. But uh, pop this on for now, just so I've got a placeholder for it. <laughs> right, okay, so um, there's two of the negatives and the negative for the Robusto. Uh, that's one of my installations, by the way. Um, and this, I've just got to make one up for, from the starter battery. Uh, I'm just going to actually wire the display in temporarily, just so I can do all my testing. Uh, here, if that makes sense, rather well, than being in and out of the boat, see what's reading what, I can just uh, test it here. So it comes with this little chalky block, which to be to be honest is fine. There's no there's no current involved. It's all um, it's just voltage measuring really. But that but not really. That's exactly what it is. That's why it shouldn't works. If you know your ohms law stuff, the volt drop across two points is proportional to the current traveling between those points. So the, the unit just is a bit of a calculation. So there you go. So anyway, I'm just gonna, you, I mean, you can't really go wrong here. You can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna wire this uh, this unit up so I can see, like I say, see, see any, I can check everything, make sure that the, you know the, the current's working and 
the engine charging's being picked up, all that sort of stuff. Which is fairly a DIY job, really. It can be. Um, the, the difficult part sometimes is just getting all those negatives onto onto that shunt. Uh, even the the bolt that comes with it, it's a little eight mil, never long enough. And I have seen, like sometimes where there's a shunt and there's twenty cables on it, great big bolt on it. Um, if if you've got that sort of problem, put a put a, um, a bus bar in. And of course, I've just I've just cut one of the lugs off the inverter because it was the wrong one anyway. M10 M10 lug onto an M8 battery bolt. So I've just cut that off, 50 mil, 8 mil bolt, uh, 8 mil lug, crimp that on, just so it is the right size. Good naughty, really. Sausage and bacon sandwich as well. My missus finds out I'm in trouble. Not so. Right. Get that powered up. bacon sandwich and um, this is the negative strap that you get with the kit probably 25 mil actually I think it's less than that but anyway woefully inadequate so there's a 70 mil and this will determine on what inverter is installed there's a 70 mil negative onto the, the batteries there um, these are just on temporarily because I've got to add another one yet but we are we are running you can see showing the battery voltage uh, whether we're charging or discharging, that depends if the sun's out. So the sun's just coming out and it's tripped over, to, uh, tripped over to charge. So that's measuring the current in and out, which is exactly what we're after. I've got to program it yet for the battery capacity, so I'll do that. But uh, yeah, I've got to put a native cable from, from the shunt now over to the starter battery. That way we know we're going to be measuring the charge current off the alternator as well. So. I'm going to need a bit of a tidy up. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this uh, box here just to notch this out a little bit, a little bit later. But uh, getting on with it. Just for the, um, just for that voltage monitor. No current involved. So just a little one amp fuse. I use these for with bastos for the controllers. Just a little one amp fuse, just to protect that that one cable that goes to the starter battery. So got to put that in circuit. That's fine. Um, I need a shorter bolt, so I'm going to cut one down. And then we can uh, notch that the top of the shunt where the in the battery box cut the hole for the display and we should be almost there then not too bad a job really it's one of those couple hours whatever but you know making sure it's done right and again i'll change that cable it's just not quite i've got some cable it's just not quite long enough start of the season not built my cable stocks up yet uh but uh i'm here to change that chlorify next week like i said so we can get that cable swapped out then. In the meantime, it's there's 50 mil cable there, which is plenty for the charging vault, charging current. So all's good. What? Shorter six mil, shorter eight mil bolt. Let me get this on as well. switch between leisure batteries. So I'm going to charge current to 26 amps. 
take a while for this to learn uh, and there's the starter battery there all right the way you set the capacity in, into engineering just hold the illumination button in and then you can type in the capacity of your battery bank and then just press it again to finish all right Not a bad job really. Um, those guys are really nice too, so. Bit of bully for my Valentine, turn them off before the YouTube police come. Um, yeah, uh, nice easy fix that is. Uh, you just have to watch out for too many cables on that shunt. If, if there are too many, fit like a 600 amp bus bar and then tip one big cable onto the shunt. I've done that before. So, yeah, I, I just finished there, just had a look at another boat. Um, battery's not lasting through the night, but there's nothing wrong with the batteries. Load tested all those, they're fine. There was only on last year, so they're okay. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, um, there are times where this job gets on top of me a little bit. <laughs> Don't they all? You just have a run of some more difficult stuff or some, I'm gonna say, bodges that people have been there before. You get a string of them together and you, you start to feel a little bit deflated and stuff, but uh, I've got to say these guys that I've seen today and, and, and the guy with the batteries, I'm not naming names, uh, really nice. I even got a bacon and sausage sandwich out of it. Woohoo! <laughs> Why doesn't every customer get me a bacon and sausage sandwich? Maybe I'd be a little bit more inclined to come and see you if you did that. Anyway, but yeah, sometimes it's... Uh, this job grinds on me a little bit because the demand, you know. But uh, I have I have figured a way around that because my phone's ringing just all the time. It's just non-stop, and I just I just stop answering it because very often it's like like this morning I did answer it, and it's somebody. Oh, what well, can we talk to you about your EE contract? No, go away. Or somebody miles away. Can I pick your brains? I saw you on YouTube. Okay, fine, but you know I ain't got time for that. So to try and manage the workload a little bit easier, I'm gonna put a voicemail message on to just contact me by email. You know, and then serious people come through. You know, there's so many people that phone me, never leave a message. Well, I'm not spending like an hour ringing anybody that may have called me during the day, just for some of them to be, you know, a waste of time. So there we go. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. Try and make myself a little bit saner probably a bit late for that some people would say but yeah it's, it's a bit it can be a bit crazy when there's let's say there's a thousand boats within eight mile each way of me and everybody wants you it's just um <laughs> what are you up to i'll just steamroll over you <laughs> no no worries all done A new van? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, we booked our favour to Germany for June. Germany for a few... Netherlands, Belgium, Germany. Two weeks. It's great. I'm just a poor electrician. I am, actually. Everybody always says that. Do you know, mate, yeah, I could work seven days a week, but why would I want to do that? Might do, and no, unless I see you coming. Oh, he's got a big Welsh flag on it. <coughs> As well. 
as well. <laughs> what? Oh, is it? Is it really? No. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, not yet. <laughs> All right, guys. See you soon. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's a couple on a boat as well. Done some work for them. They're nice people. And I think you know, sometimes I need that. I need that confirmation sometimes that what I do is worthwhile and all that sort of stuff without getting all sloppy but anyway yes back to the that job um, the NASA BM2 that is nice little piece of equipment that does everything you need with that and it's nice easy to see does everything you need and uh, I don't know how you run an hour boat and not know the state of your batteries how much charge is coming in, how much load current going out, all them kind of things. I just don't know how you operate without one of those installed. Victron do the same, in fact, there's a few different ones about, but uh, some people like those NASA ones because they're a nice big display. Well, they'll do for, for, for now. I'm gonna have a look at a boat that somebody's changed their shore power lead and now they've got no, no 230 in their boat anymore. Hmm. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong if you can't put a plug on if you can't put a plug on I'm just, so I'm just letting him out uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing that kind of work <laughs> right I'll uh, I'll take you with me shall I <laughs> just finish this video off a day in the life of we're going to have a look see what he's done so it is third job of the day <laughs> uh, so have a look see what he's done third job third boat anyway nothing massive that today which is fine you need those kind of days sometimes well let's see what I, what's happened here hmm well, here's the actual issue on this I don't think you can see that Yeah, so gave him a new inverter for there. He's selling the boat as well. He's got it. <laughs> oh well. Um, and he's uh, he's got we're Basto Evo on there. I've just looked at it. We're Basto Evo. It's on. It's running. All that sort of stuff. But it's not generating any heat. The exhaust is hot. So that'll be one or two things. Burner. Obviously, there's a flame because it's uh, sustaining. Um, so either burner. Uh, or the the heat exchange is carboned up or there's not enough fuel game through one of the two look at that next week all right that's it then see you we we'll say goodbye again see you next time guys hope you enjoyed that